Hi guys, welcome to Irene Tarot Card. I'm Ren or Irene. I hope everyone's had a great couple of weeks. Last week I didn't do a vlog, I did a day in the life video, which I also started this painting in, which I'll do a little bit of a recap of before I start with the process of what else went into painting this piece. We also had a massive festival we attended this week, a um, couple other random things, but um, to start off we should probably recap with what I painted last week of this painting. Then the following day I decided to tackle the clouds in this piece. weekend last weekend we had the Packington Street Festival it's a large multicultural festival where a lot of people come along and represent their various cultures there's hundreds of food stalls it usually attracts a crowd about a hundred hundred and twenty thousand people we were expecting a little bit more this year because the last couple of years it hasn't been on because of COVID so we usually take part in that festival. When I was young and first came to Australia, I used to do Hungarian dancing and the dancing teacher Gizzi or Giselle, who used to teach us still runs the Hungarian part of um, the parade. So we dress up in Hungarian costumes. We do a bit of a dance while we're walking down the street, waving to everyone and um, yeah we do that pretty much every year with jazz this year we also got jay involved he got dressed up and my niece was dressed up with us and she did the little dance she did really well so yeah it's a nice fun time and it's a good way to sort of get out there and experience other cultures it's some of the displays and and things people do in the parade are just fantastic and then the food afterwards is amazing I love trying various different foods and so because there's every type of culture you can imagine putting out their food it's a really great way of sort of mingling with lots of people and eating lots of great foods now it's recording look at my gorgeous girl <laughs> Nearly ready to go. I want to actually try and get some footage. Say it's hi. Be great. It's going to be a great time. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Every year it's a great time. Thank goodness it's back this year. Hey. Oh, yeah.
Scottish people are coming. Yay! <laughs> I just put the basic tree form in and worked a little bit more. That's Not good. that it gives me terrible trouble, but I'm sure you put different things to we all get it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Then you feel tip top and then I was like, oh, it's killing me. Yeah, you know, it's, just, it's part of life, isn't it? We had a pretty wide variety of foods as we usually do. I made Hungarian baby gnocchi with some pork stroganoff. Tonight we're having Asian crispy um, omelettes with an Asian slaw. We had crispy fish and homestead potatoes. I also made some um, open faced calzones. I make a really nice calzone dough and then let that prove and then form little boats and I filled that with bolognese and cheese and red onion and we had a nice side salad with that so lots of lots of different things but um, in the video I decided this week I'd include some parmesan crumb lamb loin chops with pearl couscous and I made like a tomato balsamic and feta salad that went down really nice so for the pearl couscous, you need one small chopped onion, sauteed. And lamb loin chops in flour, egg wash and parmesan and breadcrumb mixture. Saute the couscous a little bit, let it get a little bit golden into the pearl couscous. Generous amount of good quality chicken stock, a little bit of paprika, and 
and a cup of boiling liquid goes in. It's boiling down to a simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes until it's all absorbed. And the shallow fry the loin chops. Salad. I like a simple tomato salad with balsamic dressing and feta cheese. Mix salad so that feta breaks up over all the ingredients really nicely. And then mix in your balsamic dressing and your meat. And enjoy. Then I worked some more on the painting, some of the ground and various bits and pieces of the painting, added a little bit to the tree. The other day I had to take Cindy to the vet. We actually wanted to get her fixed but it's too early. She has to be six months old apparently which I swear Kimba was younger when I got her fixed but anyway so we have to wait a little bit with that but she went and had um, her second vaccination and a microchip because she was advertised with a microchip but turned out she wasn't microchipped. So anyway that's all fixed now and she did so good. She was a little trooper going to the vet. All right, off to the vet. Off to the vet. You ready? You ready? Yes, she had her first one with the um, breeder. Yeah. Okay, so how long ago did you run? Did you have a card or? No, she didn't give me a card and she actually advertised her microchip and then when, once we paid for her, um, I said, what about her microchipping information? And she said, oh no, she was too young to microchip, oh, which yes. is a load of crap, exactly. Yes, absolutely. Right. So, but so anyway, my daughter, right. well, she said she had her first, I don't, so I don't, mm -hmm. but my daughter had already fallen in love with her yeah, and we didn't want to leave her there. Couple months. Couple of months. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Outdoor, she's afraid of the world, so I hope Cindy will be the same. Okay, just hold it in my head. It's fine. It's all right. Oh, what a good kitty. Yeah, well done. Well done. Yeah, it's push. She's a sweetheart. Yeah, she is. Um, yeah, so there's an AIDS vaccine, but they're for cats that fight other cats, so that usually means outdoor cats. Yeah, no. Good kitty. Well done. Good meal. Big, big, ugly bird in the middle. Good job, Cindy. Good job. Well done. Not even a yelp. Not even a little meow. Trying to. You did so good. You did so good, Cindy. There you go. There you go. Then I added some of the lighter areas to the rocks in the painting 
Um, not highlighting quite yet, but working my way there. Also that day was Jazz and my takeaway lunch day. So once a week we like to get some takeaway. We usually watch some show we love to binge watch. Um, at the moment it's Top Chef. We're watching that when we have our takeaway together. And I could easily get have a burger or um, some KFC or something random. But lately I've just been having sushi because I am being a little bit more health conscious. And Jazz got her usual McDonald's so we did that. Timmy, I can't walk. Yes, all right. Timmy, come on. She did so good at the bed. Mm -hmm. She did so good. I was so proud of her. She didn't even meow for the big neck or nothing. What a little champ. And... I don't feed her too much. She's the perfect weight for her age. Serious. He goes, no, she's perfect. I go, okay, thanks, because I was worried I was feeding her too much. <laughs> I was worried that you're feeding her too much. But mm -hmm. he said she should be eating predominantly dry food. And I said, mm. he goes, look, you can give her wet food, but... For her teeth and stuff, it's good. But Cindy has dry food every morning, so she's fine. Mm. She cleans her teeth in the morning. What did you say? No, because you kept talking. I don't want to stop eating it, so that's a good thing. So I have pink congee with caramelized pork and fish sauce caramel, and it's black garlic puree. I really like the mix of the raw herbs and the scallions with the cooked really dark caramel. It's really good. I don't it's know about the caramel. I like the mm. I've had some pretty good food. Yeah. Alright. I'm feeling pretty good about my dish. I'm checking with all my guests. No one thought it was too spicy, but I'm curious to see what the difference is. It's so strange and funky, but I feel good. Yeah. Yeah. Now let's uh, respond to the food. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
then this afternoon I had a hair appointment so a bit of a change but um, at the moment it's quite long um, I think I'll keep it long for a while and just with the blonde in it and then I don't know I might do something short in a few months time because I lost quite a lot of hair um, some people go on about you know the vaccines causing that I don't think that's what it is at all I personally think that being put under five Five, yeah, five times in seven months um, had a lot to do with it. It's a lot of stress and um, it's not very healthy. So anyway, I don't know, but at the moment the hair loss has stopped. So I thought I'd go, I needed a trim anyway and get a little bit of color. And once all that hair, cause I actually lost over half my hair. Normally I can barely get my hand around my hair in a ponytail. And at the moment, it's like almost one third that amount, which the hairdresser still reckons it's so much hair, but not for me. Being European, it's just one of those things. But um, once that all starts growing out, I don't want it to just be buffy up top and then thinner down the bottom. So I might actually do something short later down the track, but at the moment, this will do. And that's about it for me this week. I really hope you enjoyed the vlog. I next week will be working on a commission. I've been commissioned to paint a surprise birthday gift for a dear friend and her daughter is actually commissioning me to paint that for her. So that should be lovely. And then I also had a meeting with a dear photographer friend who actually lives in Sydney. I've painted something kind of inspired by a photograph he took once before, but um, he would really like to collaborate with me and work on something together. He suggested things like, I pick the subject, he takes the photo, and then I paint on top of a print of the photo so that it's kind of photography to begin with, but it's quite painterly in the end. Um, he's, he sort of left it in my hands to have a think about, so I'm, I'm still sort of debating that. But after this commission, there is a panorama photo he took while he was actually down, because he comes down for Baco, Baco Festa every year. And while he was actually down, he took an amazing photo of mainly sky a little bit of landscape down the bottom and it's quite a long narrow piece so i think after the commission that i'll be working on this week i'd really like to i mean not paint the photo exactly as is because i like to make things look quite surreal but um i'll probably be sticking closer to the photo on that piece because i absolutely love the way the photo came out and then I'll give um, the collaboration a little bit more thought and we'll see what happens with that. But that's it for me this week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll join me next time. Bye guys.